In this video, I'll show you how you can create portraits with a limited color range in a small home studio. Hello, I'm Gavin Howie, and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers. Now, in my small home studio, I don't have a big range of studio backgrounds to choose from, but the ones I do have have a bit of a connecting theme. It's quite subtle, but see if you can spot it. So I've got my favorite textured background here, and I painted that gray. I have a nice smooth paper background that's gray. I've got a portable pop-up background that's gray on both sides. I've got some stretchy fabric, which is kind of gray. This is actually a white background that I painted gray. This is a blue background, but on the other side, it's gray. So as you can see, I've got a lot of gray in my studio, and the reason for that will become clear as we go through this video, or you can always check out the Adorama Learning Center to find out why gray is such a good color for a small home studio. <laughs> However, I kind of like the blue, and I thought in this video, what we'll do is we'll create a really colorful image using not a rainbow of colors, but a single color. I'm gonna do a shoot with the blue background that I've got here, and then I'm gonna do a shoot with a red background that I don't actually have. So we'll get to that in a little bit. For now, I guess I should set up the blue background. We'll get some light set, we'll get a model in, and we'll get shooting. So it's great to have Beth back in the studio. Beth's gonna be the model for this shoot. And what I've got first of all is a blue background. That's actually one of the very few colorful backgrounds I have in my small home studio. So it makes sense if we're gonna have a strong blue color background to style Beth in similar outfits and accessories. So you can see Beth is wearing a blue top. We've got blue earrings and accessories, and she's been through hair and makeup, and we've got some fantastic blue colored makeup. So everything ties in really well together, and this should make for a really eye-catching shot. Now let's talk about the lighting. The lighting, I've got a key light up here, which is the Evolve 200. I've already metered this out for f5.6. And behind Beth, I've got a second light. The second light is there to add some light onto this background. Now the setup we have here would mean that this would go really dark if I didn't light it. We'll see that as we go through the video. But for now, how much light do I need out of this background light? Well, that's the question I'm gonna find out by experimentation. So let's start with that background light on its lowest possible setting, 1 128th, and just see how this looks. Here we go, Beth. And when I do that, you can see there's a nice little blue spot behind Beth that naturally vignettes out at the edges. It looks really nice, but it's not the most intense blue. So how can I change the intensity of that blue? Well, I do it by changing the power of the background light. So what I'll do is I'll pop my power for that background light somewhere in the middle. Let's try 1 16th power, see how that looks. Here we go. And that looks great just the right amount of blue, and that looks like a fairly good match to what Beth's wearing. Now, it doesn't have to be an exact match to the blue. I'm not looking for a camouflage look here. I don't mind slight discrepancies. And if it's really adrift, we can always do some fine tuning in Photoshop. Okay, so this is the basic setup. I might move that key light around a little bit, but I'm gonna leave the background light as it is. Let's take a few pictures and see how this looks. So Beth, are you ready? Okay, here we go. As you can see, Beth has got changed and she is now wearing a red outfit, which really wouldn't go with the blue background we had before. So what I need is a red background. And although I have a lot of backgrounds in my studio, none of them are red. But I do have a gray background. The key light is already set. Let's just take a picture like this and see how it looks. Okay, Beth, here we go. Well, Beth is correctly lit, but that background, well, it's definitely not red, it's not blue, it's pretty much nearly black. So how am I gonna get this to go red and match in with Beth's outfit? Well, the answer is really simple. I'm gonna use this, which is just a, a sheet of red gel. And there's a reason that I've got the gray background, because if we project red light onto a gray background, it'll go red. 
Well, to do it, we need a light. So I've got a second Evolve 200, which I'm going to pop right in behind Beth. We'll attach the gel to the front of that, being careful so the gel doesn't touch the bulb, and pop it right in behind. So that light is ready to go, but how bright does that light need to be? So let's do a little experiment and find out. I'm going to start with the light on its lowest possible power setting. Let's have a look at this. Here we go. And on its lowest possible power setting, it's definitely red. There is a, a hint of red back there, but it's not that obvious. So let's go to the other extreme. Let's pop it up to its full power and see how that changes the picture. Here we go. Whoa, that is perhaps a little bit too intense. I think what I really need is somewhere in the middle between the maximum power and the minimum power. So let's go somewhere about 1 16th power. Let's try that and see how that looks. Here we go. And that looks really good. I like that. There's a nice intensity to the red. It naturally vignettes towards the edge. And that looks fantastic. OK, so we've got the light set. The background is red. Let's take a few pictures with this setup and see how it goes. OK, Beth, are you ready? OK, here we go. Well, if you want to create your own punchy colour portraits, then limiting your colour palette is a really good idea. So getting Beth to wear the same colour makeup and accessories and outfit that kind of matched the background, whether it was real or projected, was a fantastic idea. Sometimes less really is more. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a comment below. And if you want to see more videos from myself and the other amazing presenters right here on Adorama TV, you know what you've got to do? You've got to click on that subscribe button. I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching.